We're reading every Spider-Man ever and this is Topps Crazy Little Comics issue 1. In the mid-1960s, Topps, who were a bubblegum company, decided to create a bunch of parody comic books. They went all out with creatives. Future Marvel editor Roy Thomas wrote them, Wally Wood drew them, and they even had parody ads on the back that were drawn by Art Spiegelman, who would go on to win a Pulitzer Prize for Mouse. Their logic was that because they were parody, that they were fair use and they wouldn't get sued. They were wrong. The comics were never officially released, but rare copies are available for sale out in the world, so they clearly got very far in the production process. And since they were planned to release in 1967, We'll look at them now. Craven, or Raven in this comic, is robbing a bank when the lights of the amusing Spider Guy falls on him. Spider Guy wraps the foe up and carries him away while the police gossip about this superhero. Some say he's a teenager who was bitten by a radioactive spider. Some say he has the strength of a spider and can crawl on a wall like a spider. But Spider Guy gets back to his typical teenage room and dismisses the rumours. There's nothing weird about him except for his uncomfortable costume. And so he takes it off, revealing that underneath he's just a spider who was bitten by a radioactive teenage boy. Thanks for watching. There are other videos released every Thursday, usually a lot longer than this one. And if you like this, other people will see it. And if you subscribe or hit the bell, then you'll see it. But while we wait until next Thursday, here's a fun fact about this issue. As I said at the beginning, the back of the comic had a fake ad written by Art Spiegelman. This one was for a fake monster that was so lifelike it almost seemed real. It almost seemed like it was moving. That it looks like... Ah!